Welcome to this Sharp Kinane Limited Guru Session for April 2021. I'm David Kinane. This month we'll be looking at Makey Makeys. For those of you who do not know what a Makey Makey is, they are inexpensive little devices that students can connect to a computer to link their coding projects from a program like Scratch to something external from their computer. They make coding physical. At its most basic, a Makey Makey is triggered by a student touching one of the input controls and the earth rail on the Makey Makey at the same time, thereby completing a circuit and triggering some code in Scratch to run, to say, make a sound. This is just the simplest example of how Makey Makeys can be used to trigger something to happen on a computer, and we'll get into this a bit more later. First, we need to familiarise ourselves with a Makey Makey. The graphic on the screen is a representation of the front side of a Makey Makey. But if we look at the reverse side of a Makey Makey, you can see that there are a lot more controls and options. But we will not be investigating the rear of a Makey Makey in today's Guru session. Today, we will stick with the basics. All you need to know is that there are more advanced options on the rear of every Makey Makey. A Makey Makey has to be permanently attached to a computer via a USB cable. This is how it gets its power and how signals are transferred from the external triggers to Scratch. To connect a Makey Makey to a computer, connect the USB cable to the port at the top of the Makey Makey and into a vacant USB slot on your computer. When you do this, the Makey Makey will go through a check procedure and you will see all the LEDs on the Makey Makey flash in turn as it runs its checks. Now that the Makey Makey is connected and powered up and ready to go, Let's have a look at the controls. On the front face of the Makey Makey are two areas for inputs. The two circles to the right are the spacebar and mouse click inputs. And the arrows to the left are the up, down, left and right arrow keys. We can use all of these as triggers to make our scratch coding work. The bottom strip is the earth or negative rail that we need to connect to in order to complete our circuit. To connect from your Makey Makey to something external to your computer, it is best to use alligator clips. And these clip into the conveniently spaced holes on the Makey Makey and also ensure a good connection. Once the alligator clips are connected, we now have to complete the circuit and this is where the external triggers come in. A student, a piece of tin foil, a piece of fruit, some Play-Doh, all of these can be used to help close the circuit. Basically, anything that can conduct a small electrical charge can be used to close this simple circuit and trigger the scratch code to run. In this example, if we were to touch the alligator clip connected to the left arrow key input and the alligator clip connected to the negative rail at the same time, the scratch code associated with the left arrow input block would run. In this example here, to play a selected sound when the left key input is triggered, the relevant code blocks on Scratch would look like this. And Scratch would play the pop sound immediately the circuit was closed. Understanding the relationship between physical triggers and executing code via the Makey Makey is key to understanding the power of Makey Makeys to foster inquisitiveness. Sophisticated outputs can be created with simple materials. For example, using a small piece of paper and two pieces of copper tape, it is possible to make a simple pressure switch like this. This simple switch could then be used as a simple intruder alert system or as a system to count pupil traffic in a corridor or to count how many times a window has been opened and closed. It is simply up to the inquisitiveness of the individual to decide how to use a simple switch like this to solve a problem they've identified. Adding two of these switches to a Makey Makey could be used as an experiment to measure time between one gate closing and the next one being closed. A great opportunity for a science experiment. Indeed, we have done this with a Makey Makey. We extended this idea and added more of these simple switches to control different lighting circuits in order to illuminate different LED constellations inside cardboard star domes that students had made. In a similar vein, using Play-Doh as whack pads, we have had students design and build whack-a-mole games using hammers made from cardboard, covered in tin foil, and connected to the negative rail via a combination of copper tape and an alligator clip. With a Makey Makey and some simple conductive materials, students can create almost anything to interact with their scratch code. Obviously, the more ambitious their ideas, the more complex their scratch code will need to be. 
but starting with a simple banana piano, students will quickly want to innovate from there. There are plenty of teacher and student generated Makey Makey projects on the Joy Labs website to inspire both you and your students. In addition, we have lots of tutorials available on YouTube that will support you as you integrate Scratch and coding into your classroom. To get you started, we have put the relevant links in the description below. Thank you for watching this Sharp Kinane Limited Guru session for April 2021. We hope that this introduction to Makey Makeys has helped to inspire you to let them loose in your classroom. Finally, we look forward to your suggestions for our May 2021 Guru session. You can let us know your ideas in the comments below or if you subscribe to our monthly newsletter via the poll we include each month. Again, the link to sign up is in the description below.